welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am filming a vlog style type of video with all things Christmas. I have a ton of things to share with you. I picked up a few new Ray Dunn items that I'm going to show you guys, and then I also picked up a bunch of new Christmas decor. I also put up my Christmas tree, which you guys can probably see in the background. I put it up on November 1st. I know, so crazy. So many people do not like decorating before Thanksgiving, and that is totally fine, but for me, I really enjoy having my Christmas decor out as long as I can before Christmas comes because it is so much work that I put into it. I do wanna get Christmas content out for you early. Like I've said, a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you are going to sell out within the next few weeks just because people are going to be running to the store to buy things. I know here in Colorado, unfortunately, we are going down a phase with the whole coronavirus thing. So we are going to be going down in restrictions. So things are going to be getting a little bit more crazy here, unfortunately. So I want to be able to get everything that I need before I am potentially not able to do that anymore. I did move things around in my living room as well for Christmas time. I put my Christmas tree in a different location this year. I've been in my house for three Years now and I finally changed it up this year I made my couch smaller and I put my tree over on that side of my living room so I will share with you guys what that looks like I do have some pillowcases I also want to share with you from Amazon if you are interested they were super affordable and I'll show you guys kind of my theme of what I'm going with I also want to go through a bunch of my Christmas decor because I brought in my two bins from out in the garage today so I'm gonna just go through everything and really kind of try to downsize. My doggies are not here right now except Miss Chloe. She is here but the other two are actually going and getting groomed. So I have the house kind of to myself for a little bit right now so I'm going to go ahead and try to go through everything and I thought I would show you guys the things that I have picked up recently that I didn't include in my haul video. So I hope that you guys are excited for all of my Christmas content. If you are please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you are not already and also following me over on Instagram. I'm doing monthly giveaways for the rest of the year and without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Okay, so please excuse my sort of messy house I need to clean today, but the first two things that I wanted to share with you guys are from Walmart. So I went ahead and picked up this flocked garland. It is nine feet and this was $12.98, so really affordable. I'm not sure how this is going to look on my TV stand. That is where I got it for. We shall see if it ends up working or not. It is very, very flocked and very, very messy. So just beware, flocked stuff in general is usually really messy, but it does look pretty. Then I also picked up this wreath. This was only $9.98, which is crazy. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet, but I thought about putting it on the inside of my front door or maybe in the garage, like when you come in. I'm not 100% sure. I may end up taking it back as well too. I just got it to see what I could do with it. I do also have another wreath that I am kind of forgetting about that I wanted to share with you guys. So I picked this one up from Marshalls. I really want to put this on my front door. It's perfect for outdoors because this is a plastic material. You can probably see that on camera. And then the back of it has a little hook here. I need to try to find something that I can hang this on so that you can still use the peephole on my door because it blocks it. So I'm going to try to see if I can find something to where the middle of the wreath can go where the peephole is. So I'm gonna potentially try to look on Amazon to see if they have a shorter like wreath hanger or something. This was $24.99, so definitely pretty expensive, but I think it's a good quality wreath, especially for outside. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up for you as well so that I can show you what they look like. They did come with four of them and I will look up the price on Amazon so I can let you guys know that as well. Okay, so these are the four pillowcases that I got from Amazon. 
So this is the exact one that I picked up. It is $18.99 for all four. I got the 18 by 18 and I will have a link to it in the description box down below if you guys are interested. I think it's a really great deal and they do feel like pretty good quality. So this is the first one. It says Mistletoe Farms Christmas Tree, family owned. I thought this one would be great. They're very farmhousey as well, which I love. I love the black and white buffalo check as well. And then this is the second one. So it just says Merry Christmas with the three buffalo check trees right there. This one again is going to be great. I like how farmhouse and neutral all of them are. So this one is hands down my absolute favorite. I love the little truck that has the buffalo check and the tree inside. This one I'm going to put in the middle of my couch with my green pillow that I got from Target that I shared with you in the last video. And then this one actually just fell on the floor, so let me pick that up. And then this is the last pillow that came in the set. So it says Merry and Bright, and it has little ornaments right here. This is probably my least favorite. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not this year, but we shall see, especially with my couch being a lot smaller. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up liking it or not. I do like the fact that I'm going to incorporate a few green pops of color too, just because I've never done that in the past. I have a lot of green decor, more green and woodsy. So it's gonna be interesting to decorate this year. I'm going to try to go through most of my decor today to try to get rid of some of the things that I know I don't want. So like I said, I will have these linked down below for you if you are interested. Buying pillowcases on Amazon saves so much money and space in your house because you can fold them up really nicely and it doesn't take up much space. And then you can just keep either pillow inserts or keep you know other pillows and then be able to put them with the pillow covers. So definitely an option this year if you wanna save money and space. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the three mugs that I didn't get to show you in my previous haul. So I did pick up two new Ray Dunn mugs. So the first one I got is the Let It Snow, the all red one. I absolutely love this. I found it when we went up to the mountains a couple weeks ago. We were actually walking out of the store and I randomly saw this sitting there. So I went ahead and picked it up. And then I did find the gingerbread mug from Target, which I absolutely love. This little guy is only $5, which I think is a great deal. They have a snowman one that I picked up, a Christmas tree, and then a Santa Claus as well. And then the last one that I got is the apple cider mug. I had the burgundy version of this in the kind of weird shape mug, but I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. One of the girls local to me asked if I wanted it and I went ahead and took her up on the offer. I really love the way that all three of them look together, especially with the little gingerbread in the middle. I cannot wait to decorate these tiered shelves right here for the holidays and put up all of my mugs. So make sure to stay tuned. Those videos will be coming within the next couple weeks. Okay, so now that I've gone over the things that I picked up recently, I also have something in here to show you guys. I apologize for kind of the mess that's in here. I still have all of my fall decor up, which I won't be taking down until next weekend when I decorate. I picked up a tree collar for my tree. So this is from Walmart. I will zoom you guys in so you can see it a little bit more. So it says Christmas tree farm. I love the coloring of it. I love the galvanized detail and you can kind of see how it looks further back. My tree is from Hobby Lobby and I will have it linked down below for you because I still have it. I've had it for two years now and I still really like it. I haven't like fluffed it out or anything. This is just what it looks like straight out of the box. The nice thing about this tree is that you can put all three levels together or all three pieces and you don't have to plug in anything. It automatically just lights up everything. So super easy to put together. It pretty much just shapes itself as well. And then my couch, so you can see, I actually shortened it. So I took a seat out of it. So this side used to be longer and then this side was the same, but now it's kind of just even. So this is what my living room kind of looks like right now. 
obviously with the lights on and more Christmas decor, it will look way better, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. I also stuck my little lamp back here still because I didn't know what else to do with it and I don't think it looks too bad. I don't have a lot of room to work with in my living room, so this is kind of what <laughs> I'm having to work with. So we're gonna make it work. I think it looks good. I love the tree color as well. I was still able to keep my shoe basket right here for the front door, which is great. And then on this side, I typically put my Christmas tree right here, but I don't wanna do that this year because I have nowhere to put my dog's kennels. And then I also got these floating shelves from Hobby Lobby, which I haven't showed you guys on camera yet, so I wanted to show you guys those as well. I will have these linked down below for you if you are interested. I got them 40% off, so they were pretty affordable. I just have some fall decor up there right now. Again, excited to decorate it for Christmas time, so I didn't want to put the tree over there and completely block it, so we shall see. I also need to move these floating shelves up so that they are even with the other floating shelves. You can see how tall those are. I just need to move these up to be level with that home sweet home sign and then everything will look more even. This is where I have all of my Christmas decor right now. I picked this bad boy up from Target. It actually has wheels on it on the other side and it is so heavy. Um, I got these two items from the Dollar General actually. I haven't shown you guys these two items yet in a haul because I honestly forgot about them. I got them a pretty long time ago. This tin is actually going to match my tree color almost perfectly and then I got this pillow which was eight dollars. I thought it was cute. I'm probably going to put it in this tin or right where my magnolia basket is right there. This pillow is from Dollar General as well. I'm gonna bring this over here so you guys can kind of see how well that's gonna go. I don't know where I'm gonna put that, but I think those two things will go really well together. So this tree color that I got as well was only $16.98 from Walmart, so I will have that link down below as well if you are interested. I picked up the last one at my Walmart, so Definitely run to your local stores if you are wanting any Christmas decor because they are selling out pretty fast. So I think while this girl takes a nap on the couch, I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of this stuff. I tried to go through some of it last night, but it was getting too late, so I decided to stop. My mom also got me this cute little gnome from Amazon. I think it's the cutest thing ever, so can't wait to put that up this year. There's just... There's a lot going on right now. So I'm gonna try to go through this really quick and then I will show you guys what I end up getting rid of. All right, so I just finished going through everything that I wanted to get rid of and this is everything that I'm going to sell. So I got rid of some of my gnomes. I had four of these and I had a bunch of just flocked trees in general. So I do not need that many. Got rid of some towels, garland, placemats. This cute little llama, some gnomes, and then I'm also giving my mom this stuff right here. So these little gnomes and then this little snowman for the front door. So a pretty good amount of stuff. I'm going to post this, hopefully sell it. I have my tree skirt in there as well underneath everything. So I cannot wait to get rid of a ton of this stuff. I actually just brought down all of my stuff from the previous hauls that I've done and I put it in my tin, so that one. And this one is full. I think I'm gonna take it back out to the garage just to get it out of here since I'm not doing it until next weekend. So that is going to conclude this video. I just went and picked up the puppy dogs and finally went through absolutely everything. All of my Christmas decor, so I need to sell some of that so I can get all of that stuff out of my house and I also need to clean my house as well. I have an appointment in a little bit, so busy rest of the day. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, stay marvelous. Mm -hmm.